The Archbishop is gathering the knights to begin a search. She's doing so in secret, behind our backs. She must be afraid that a thirst for revenge will compel you to seek them out. Now that you know, will you give us the order? No, I will not allow it. This discovery comes just when the knights are at their busiest. It is all too likely that our foes revealed themselves to lure you out there. They are the ones who took Geralt from you. I know how you must despise them, but I must ask you to rein in your personal feelings for now. Hmm, I mean, yeah, you can't exactly stop me though, can you? Please, Professor, do not act carelessly. I ask that you leave this to us. Losing you so soon after losing Gerald would be unbearable. No, not unbearable. Inconvenient Lady for Rhea, you. Our professor is not acting because the professor revenge. is part of your plan. Sending us out there is the most strategic move we can make. Most of the knights are still far away. Not only does our professor wield a hero's relic, but there is no one here who is more powerful. Sedithan, we have fought under our teacher's command countless times. We are the most effective army here, and we are already prepared for battle. We have no idea what the enemy is plotting. We must act now. Professor, do you agree with this strategy? Understood. I will give you the order. Destroy the enemy that is hiding in the sealed forest. You have the protection of the goddess on your side. Whatever happens, you shall overcome. Let's go, my teacher. Whatever happens, do not lose your conviction out there. Yeah, I had to skip the dialogue of the first paragraph because it, it jumped out on me. I forgot. I forgot to click record in time, but it's fine. Well, I'm going to do some weapon management. Right then, mission. The Sealed Forest Snare. Which I think is like the last mission or the second to last mission before the time skip. So if you weren't aware of the time skip subtly, Edelgard said in the previous episode, We'll return here after five years, won't we? We are now within the sealed forest. We must not let our guard down. Professor, we'll avenge Gerald for you, no matter what. Remember, it is a bad idea to get distracted by revenge. I have readiness. Our enemies will be taking... Uh, we will take our enemies down. Well, it's not like we have any other missions this month. I suppose this is as good a way as any to spend our energy. Lindhart spending energy? We better finish this fast before the pigs start flying everywhere. Lower your voice. The enemy could be close. It is time to repay the kindness of the professor who saved my life. Professor, I know I'm the one who insisted we come here. But don't doubt for a moment that the enemy is waiting for you. Lady Edelgard, what are you saying? What other objective could they possibly have? We have no clue what kind of trap is waiting for us. Please be careful, my teacher. We can't afford to lose you. The enemy is strong, but you will prevail. You must. The enemy is not strong. The enemy are fodder. But this is hard mode, so there's a chance. And they may get a little stronger. Maybe. It would be nice to get to the time skip bit, but then also I'm not looking forward to killing Edelgard again. I'm really not looking forward to that. Who has flame? Ernie has flame. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Look there! Demonic beasts! I suppose they aren't holding back. There used to be beasts on this level. Hello! 
you're here! Welcome to the Forest of Death! <laughs> so now, uh, previously, it stated that Edelgard and Monica were very close. Yet it's never mentioned that conveniently. And now we're fighting her. My name is Kranya. This weakling girl was just a borrowed look for me. <laughs> this is what I really look like. You've got such a nice now, design. Vermin, I'll take down every last one of you. Shame we don't get to use a lot of your uh, cool design. Right, so there is a chest in the corner. So Petra has to go I this way. The victory. That thing is immune to spears, is it? Well, leave it to me. I will leave it to you. Who else has war? Lindos. Battle. Huh. Yeah, one, uh, the next threshold is level 30. And where they can become yeah. their master classes. If possible. Not a lot of them will. Some will, like uh, my axe and uh, no, my bow knight will. Uh, Leone will. All my uh, magic ladies will. I am Ferdinand von Eich. The magic ladies will become Gremories. And they are amazing. Oh no. The magic ladies there. Defense. I'll run bro upwards. I will prevail. Go this way for now, I'll go. If this takes too long, I might be forced to escape. Oh, or do you simply intend to let me go? How accommodating of you. As for me, I intend to kill you all. Yep. Yes, I never showed, did I? Let's 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 look at what the Kronya looks like. It's that same Kronya. That's such a nice design. Just cool abilities, you know, you've got your standard stealths. An Agatha what is that? Garthen technology. Which is the future people, the technology that all the evil people use, like solar. Right then, let's see. Let's just whittle them down as, as, little, as quick as we can. A little bit of chip. Is the Levin Sword stronger? I can hit from three squares away. There we go, that's broke that. Uh, that will be... Beating this fool. Done. We want to use Leone next. Swift strikes People is so like stupid. Quick step. Is such a... And he's mastered horse now, right? Yeah, so he doesn't need the XP gem on right now. That's fine. I mean, the quicker I finish this level, the quicker I do finish the game, I suppose. So let's just... Not marathon this, but... Let's go. And not smash through the entire game, but we do need the game to be finished. For some reason, there's no rank three assassin. You'd have thought there would be. Like I've gone on my videos before and said how incredibly dumb 
It is that the rank system is in this game. It's not very good. There should be a rank three of every single class. You don't need to get to a master class in this game at all. Your characters are easily strong enough without it. This time. You know who doesn't miss? This. Yeah, so you like notice here there's entire areas at the top that aren't being used. So you would assume that this level is a part two level where there will be an extra part. And you'd be right, because there is. Bunchy boys are surprisingly good in this level, in this uh, hard mode, where speed matters. Like before, their stats could just brute force through the entire game, but now speed actually matters. You can tell. Appreciated. Wow, this is a quick mission. And I haven't really done a huge amount of grinding apart from the first chunk where I've got all the side quests for the first time. Such power dwells within. It does. I don't need to use his combat art. This combat arts uh, self heal should be nice. Uh, well, I mean, I can give it to every character technically. I, owe you. I just have to get their uh, hand hand combat skill up to C, and then they just learn auto heal. He's like one of the best skills. Back on you. Cool to be so brazen. You'll never avenge your father at this rate. Three. <laughs> Two, one, avenged. Well, that's, uh, yeah. Action speed's alright. Woo! Cutscene incompetence! Let's go! But how? How can I really lose to a lonely creature like you? Well, let's go waste Kronya's design. Don't, don't just stand there and stare. I need your help. Yes, you most certainly do. Huh? Have no fear, Kronya. Your sacrifice will help to rid this world of the filthy vermin that have long infested it. Oh no, it was blatantly a trap! And yes, they've just wasted her design. And she's apparently living without her heart, which is impressive. It's 
So I say the way to design because uh, she's just been killed off and she doesn't come back. So you see her for one mission. Never seen again. Be gone with you, Philster. You fool. I think it's the first thing she says. That could only have been magic. What happened to our professor? They were swallowed by the mystical darkness of the forbidden spell. An eternity wandering in a void of nothingness, never to return to this. To think, we almost had the sword of the creator. You're lying. Our professor is alive. I know it. That's right. Our professor is no ordinary human. That is true. But also, you could be attacking Solon right now. There is nothing stating that if you don't, that like if you kill him, it doesn't reborn, uh, you know, undo the spell. It is hard to fathom that our professor would die in a place like this. It is possible that death has yet to find your friend, but there are worse things than death. Drifting through the darkness with no chance of escape, overwhelmed with hopelessness. <laughs> It must be torture. You're already boasting a victory, but know this. If you did use such devious tricks to stop our professor, I swear that you will regret it. I cannot help but agree with her this once. Even if our professor is trapped in darkness, that is not the end of their story. I will not forgive such arrogance. What the hell are you going to do about it, weakling? If you prefer it so, you shall also be added to the ranks of the dead. We are so vastly superior to you, it's unbelievable. You fool. You fool! There it is, yeah. What were you thinking, charging right into an enemy's trap? Are you just a boulder that rolls down whatever hill it's on? No, even a boulder has more sense. Apologizing won't make things right! This darkness is terrifying! As you and I are one, I, too, am trapped within this void. But please consider this. This realm of darkness we are in is separate from the world from which you came. I mean that it would take a god to leave this place. Coincidentally, that is what you are. In time, our hearts and minds will cease to be. Are you prepared to die? I thought as much. I also do not wish to die. And yet... <sighs> There is no other choice. Do you recall your father's diary? He said you were a child who never cried nor laughed. I think I am the one to blame. Yes, you are. I must have been asleep, but even then, I feel I was a part of you. I do not know how Rhea managed it, but she allowed me to exist inside of you. Yes, basically, Ro is... An experiment Raya did to seal you in her, in the protagonist, which is why Gerald ran away with you, and why your character is as they are. And then it's like she was brought in for the foot into the monastery for that reason because Raya knew and wanted to use her. The truth is, I have always been with you. It is within you that I found my power yet again. The power of a goddess. The power of the progenitor god. My name is Sothis. By now, you must be well aware of what that means. I am the one who watches over Fodlin and the creatures dwelling there. I am Sothis. She who died and then returned. There is but one thing left to do. However, I lack a body of my own. And so I must relinquish all the power that I have to you. The time has come for you and When I say disappear, I do not mean that all I am will be no more. My soul will join with yours, and you and I will never be apart. But I will no longer have the chance to speak with you. I shall miss it. Newsflash, you do technically uh, speak to Bro again in the endings, like all three. No, no, except Red. But you can uh, use S rank with Sothis anyway, so you, you can bring her back in every single route if you want. So long have I been on this path with you. 
Through you, I got to see and hear. I may not have acted like a goddess, but it was certainly fun for all that you have done. Thank you. I'm glad that it was you to whom my fate was bound. Now, we must pray. Your wish is to return to the forest, stop the enemy, and rescue the little ones. <laughs> no need for words. I know your heart as though it were my own. Note that she said then that her heart is very... Uh, the hearts are one. It kind of is foreshadowing. Your will and mine are now as one. Both sides of time are revealed to you, and you alone. You know I am the beginning. What shall you do? Yeah. And like the subtlety of Soth is getting off her throne, relinquishing her throne to the protagonist. And this is why in the promo material, uh, Bro's hair is green. Because all gods and higher beings in this game have green hair. Make of that what you will. So the star consumes even the darkness itself. Now, if you'd have sealed her in there without the sword of the creator, like a dumbass, she'd have been she'd have been lost. But the sword of the creator with Sothis's power can cut dimensions, so not very great idea, was it? Professor, it is you, right? I knew that you would always come back to us. I'd like to ask about your appearance, but for now, let's dispose of our enemies. What did you see in the darkness of Zaharas? This should be impossible. The only being that can withstand that darkness is unless I dispose of you myself. I mean There's no way you can dispose of her yourself, you freaking scrub. Lime swad. Oh, let's go. Ragnarok is the best I can do, I believe. I'll choose fire. Uh, Bernie will go this way. You can go this way. Actually, you can just go straight up. That's my objective. Just defeat Sola. Well, not a lot of these enemies have green things. Feet all the enemies who have green. And then we can just uh yeah. to be you. I still have much to learn. Ooh, I got an S rank. I don't know what offensive tactics does. That sounds vaguely interesting. Let's find out. Should I have it on now? No. Yeah. What's my gambit? three enemies at once, because of course. Uh, can't run Edelgarden. Shouldn't be really running Edelgarden since we're going to be losing her soon. 
Like, you wouldn't know that on the first playthrough that you're going to lose her. I don't like mentioning it very often, but we are going to lose Edo Guard, unfortunately. Which is like, if we did side with Edo Guard like I did in my first playthrough, you lose all the church people. So you'd lose all the teachers. Uh, even ones you recruited. Uh, except uh, Manuela, Hanuman, and Gamia. Because they're not really sided with the church, they're just there. Is that enough for me to just kill Solon right now? Yeah, it is. I, mean, I can literally win right now. This level is not difficult. But I might as well just... Uh, on out. Get a little bit more extra XP by killing these mooks. Normally, I wouldn't have even bothered, but since I'm uh, this is uh, hard mode, I really need the levels. Like, Ferdinand does, well, he will eventually get a Master Rank, so I'm going to get him into Holy Knight. But it's nice if I get him up at least. And Bernie needs to get up as well. She's off into Bow Knight. Uh, we'll use a bit of healers. Blended. Get some XP gains. You should just drop a splat this thing. Um. Yeah, we'll just finish it now then. Those two enemies aren't really going to matter in the grand scheme. I have no time to waste on the likes of you. Well, I'm going to give her some justice since it was technically your fault, Gerald died. To think that I would lose to mere beasts. I'm aiming high. That was an ass ladder. But this is not the end. Tullus will carry out our mission somehow. Only if he's on yellow. It's over. Now, Professor, about your appearance. She looks the same. It's just that her, her eye colour and hair colour is green. It's not the biggest change in the world. You don't have to make the biggest deal out of it. That hair. And those eyes. You remind me of someone. Yes. Rhea, Flane, and Seteth. What happened to you? The goddess. I see. Well, I'm happy for you. Your weapon is called the Sword of the Creator, after all. It's no wonder she looks favorably upon you. Just as it was with Saint Seth. That is not why it's called the Sword of the Creator. And just how will you use this new power, Professor? For us. I see. Tell me, if the world, and your students included, were to divide and go to war with each other, what would you do? In that scenario, each side would represent both the world and your students. Who would you... Professor, have you fallen asleep? 
This must be a side effect of your recent... changes. I can't just leave you here. I shouldn't ask Hubert to carry you. So I suppose it falls to me. Yep, Sothis' song. Professor, you must remain still. Everything is all right. Those who are trying to harm you are far away. Not so much far away, we killed them all. How lovely it would be for this moment to last forever. Okay, so... If what we what I mentioned before, which Ray uh, set this up for her to be embodied by the goddess, you would assume that she wanted this particular situation to happen. I wish I could hold on to this time we have stolen, that you and I could create a world without end. And you're wondering why she wants to do that? Well, to you. Uh, I think that we will definitely get to that point. Your appearance. You have received power from the goddess. From the moment you took hold of the sword of the creator, I prayed that one day the radiant power of Sothis, which bathes Fodlin in its celestial light, might reside within you. Mm, that's not what you wanted, but though. you are so much more than the light. You are my... <sighs> Close your eyes, dear one. See, I will be watching always and forever. Yes, you crazy lady. You do that. You do that indeed. And here we are at the mission before or actually at the time skip. I think there's a two-part mission where you either choose to side with Rhea or not and then the consequences of that and then it does time skip. Rhea, please talk to me. What are you hiding? What is the meaning of how that one looks? It is almost as though... As I said, there is nothing of which to speak for now. At the end of this month... I read Gerald's diary. I happened upon it in his room. What? In it, he stated the reason for his departure. The baby, thought to have died in the fire, has returned to it. Gerald realized that you had done something to the child and decided to flee. What did you do to that baby, Rhea? Nothing questionable. I should he hope sealed a god within the child. Said it enough. They will be here shortly. No more, I beg of you. I will take our dear professor to the holy tomb. There, I should be able to see our dearest wishes. Not our dearest wish. wishes, your dearest wishes. When I was young, I heard her voice there. I'm sure of it. Yeah, your dearest wishes of re trying to resurrect Sothis. You may end. But it kind of hasn't worked because since they're fused together, she's technically gone now. I have been awaiting your arrival, professor. Now that you have received sacred power, you must go to the holy tomb so that you may receive a divine revelation from the goddess. The holy tomb is where the goddess sleeps. This monastery was originally built for the purpose of protecting that hallowed temple. Only a select few know of it, but there is a legend about Seros and the holy tomb. Saint Seros, the first soul to be gifted power from the goddess, Received her revelation there. So Saint Cyrus is the person from the original cutscene at the beginning of the game who looks suspiciously like Rhea. She was told that it was her sacred duty to save the people of Fodlin, and that she must use her power wisely in order to lead them. Cyrus was the one who also, unsubtly, upon getting the sword of the creator back, said, I'm glad to have you back, mother. The words that were handed down to Seros from the goddess will likely fall upon you. Prepare yourself to go Make of that once. what you will. There, may you find out why you were blessed with such power. 
because she got sealed in an alternate dimension and Sothis there gave it to her. A ceremony at the holy tomb. It is said that when Seros received the revelation, she had holy warriors by her side. Yes, she did. She had ten of them. That's what the re that's what the clans are. Your students, the families who have followed you and fought alongside you through the darkest of times, are well suited to stand by you for the ceremony. Oh wait, no, that's that, that's technically wrong. But that's spoiler stuff. We'll get to that later. Of course, as the leader of the Church of Seros. I will be by your side as well. The occasion is too significant. Even if something were to happen, I am more than capable of protecting myself. Much yes, has you changed, are. But your duty has not waited. You are the second strongest character in this game. Steal your mind for the ceremony. And Bro begin. being the best. I think only god weapons and super dark magic can hurt you. Oh, wow, thanks. I mean, it's, there's no green on the map. That's certainly something. There's no. I can go for the enlightened one class. It's time to start anew. I'm not going to the enlightened one class though. I'm sticking to the class I currently had. was Warlock. Or should I? You know what, I'll leave her in that for now. It doesn't matter, no matter what class she's in immediately. Because she can't go to Gremory yet. Chinese manga. Right, everything's about cultivation. Yo, Ash. I can't even imagine what it must be like inside the holy tomb. Well, it's probably a grave. That I can't help. Oh, yeah, that's what I was gonna check, wasn't it? There was it an ability. Offensive tactics. Extra damage and hit with gambits. I mean, I don't particularly use gambits, but it's nice the options there. Here we go. So, this month's mission is to take part in a ritual at the Holy Tomb. Where you? What if she really appears? I've always imagined the goddess. We actually don't know what sort this looks like. I think the one that you see is not what she actually looks like when she was alive. Dinner is just too. It's got nothing to do with your um changes. So um. Because like all the statues of Sothis are basically what um her daughter, so the different. what's her name? You're still our professor in there, right? Professor from the initial cutscene. There's no way she'd have got that wrong. Really? You'd have got that information really accurate. Um. God, is that still on? I've got to be able to do it now in Enlightened 1 class with better stats. Oh, now I cost 13 twice. Yeah, the Enlightened One class is really overpowered. I played the first uh, playthrough in Enlightened One. Then I played Swordmaster, then Axe, and now we're playing Mage. That is that. 
you know, brave launch is useful. You're like, no damage. You don't even stand a slightest chance. Should I have held back? No, they challenge you specifically. They have to suffer. As expected. Keep you in, I'll keep you in this form until I get uh, Gremory, I suppose. Who's this? You know. In town earlier, is there some? There is not. There's no way you don't know about the festival. Hurry up and cage the wild boar! Look, he's losing his grip. Even in his swordplay, he's getting Kranya, Solon. There, we still have to take down the. De Our next battle is. Alright, so the wild boar is this guy. Professor, please. He's exaggerating. I have a headache, but that's just from the professor. I won't. That's the wild boar of which he is speaking. It's quite nice uh, averaging a whole standard mission every hour. Farewell. It means that every episode is one main mission. At least for now. Oh. Greetings, Professor. Although, I suppose you are something. Lucky for you, I am quite perceptive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's still the same person. You've been granted this power by the goddess herself. Truly, you must be a very special individual. Maybe Saros transformed before receiving her revelation, too. Hmm. Yes, she did. Maybe that it is told. I wonder what sort of. When blessed by Seros, it mean it turns your eyes and hair green, apparently. We ignore you, Edelgard. Hey oh, it'll put me into your room. You should show I'm not doing that. When kids I believe talking to you now puts you in Edelgard's uh, election ceremony. What is it? Uh, a crowning ceremony to become. The king, uh, the ruler of her nation. You're so str I thought I was stronger, but I still have such a long way to go. You'd better not go easy on. Right, so if I if I didn't go easy on you, I'd turn you to dust. Is everyone done already? Yeah, all good. That means I can focus on stats. So where's Anna? Oh, cool. Hey, Anna. Did I finish her mission? Oh. Uh, I don't need attack power anymore. Petra does, though. You could do with... Actually, no. I'll save them for... Um, Cyril, when I eventually get him. Yo, Anna. Hey, Professor. Lots of things seem... Hey, how about a favor? Teach me both. Yes. We'll go this way. Right, right. I don't need any door keys, but sure. I usually do this particular bit off screen, but I'll put it on for now. Because it won't take me... 20 minutes to sort out this entire section. But there's no green, so I don't have to do any uh, extra missions. I'll just go straight to 29. Yo, how's it going? Other me. Seeds. Lavender blend. No, don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Could do with that. Yes. I'll save that Seraph robe for the next character we're getting. Because he's going to be really low level in comparison to everyone else. And I believe he is an axe user on a dragon when you get Cyril. It's been a while. Ooh, oh, yeah, we can't talk to Edelgard. 
for reasons of we don't want to go into her route right now. People who live an inordinately long time, people whose hair changes color, and those odd heroes. Is Fodlan some mystical land full of inhuman creatures? You should see for yourself. Alright. Ooh, Catherine's back. Let me consider sometimes. I find myself thinking I should leave. You really should. I should have been all along. Ignore me. I hear that she's you left your family. You really need to go back, bro. Don't abandon your family, you little scrub. Monica. No, Kranya. Kranya is dead. Taking vengeance. Yeah, she shouldn't be. It's a waste of a good design. When you change, there's a ritual at the Holy Tomb. This I'm sure you'll be all right. However, you may. Well, oh, she'll be all right. She has main character powers. In our battle last month, we really cut the enemy down to size. But there are other enemies we have yet to hunt down. Not least, once we've crushed them, it will happen soon. Why can I not recruit you again? Do I? Oh, I think I get you free. I side in with Raya. She just comes as a package deal. I think you get Cyril and... Uh, sword lady. Moment, Yo. When I first saw you, Professor, with that hair color and that eye color, I thought you looked kind of like Lady Rhea. Like maybe you could be related. I like the way it looks. I wonder if I could change my hair color too. All I need to do is get trapped up in a strange place and then escape, right? Yeah, and have a god sword that can cut through dimensions. But you definitely don't have. Uh, Fernand and Lysithia. We actually care about them too. Their opinions actually matter to me. Sorry. Edelgard and Hubert have been busier than usual, constantly coming and going in and out of as the legitimate yeah, it's suspicious, era. Right? If it were significant. Right, there's no way you can't have noticed by now how suspicious Edelgard and Hubert are. Uh, you were there. You didn't lose something as a consequence of gaining these powers, did you? I see. Well, that makes me feel better. That's because you gained your powers by gaining an additional crest, turning your hair white. So it's perfectly understandable why you'd be slightly uh, surprised and asking about it. Perfect sense. Sylvain, hello. I swear, it's like you're an entirely different person. <laughs> I guess you're right. Such a dumbass. Hey, How are you, Professor? Did Hanneman make his I will do no harm speech or promise this won't hurt a bit when he asked to study you? Both? I've a bit of research I'd like to perform. Crest power must have some kind of limit. Lady Rhea says any limits must be the protection of the goddess. Oh, it's it depends if you've got mine across that. Long ago. Saint Seros was gifted with a divine revelation from the goddess. Is that what happened to you too, Professor? No way! The Professor transformed before receiving any kind of divine revelation. Still, well, there was a divine revelation. It's just you don't actually basically in her head. I mean, they wouldn't know that. I don't. Th I don't think Bro in canon would tell anybody about that. I always knew there was something special about you, but you've only gotten more and more extraordinary. That transformation was just the beginning, wasn't it? I mean, yes. And that's up. Oh, that's good. Let's go do that. Is this way? Right. Hey, Annette. Ah, Professor. Sorry. This will take some getting used to. Your hair and eye color are completely different. You just don't look like yourself anymore. Don't scare me like that! I wanted to scare you like that, that's why I chose it. Almost done. Well, let's make this a slightly shorter episode, actually. Do, 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 do. That reminds me. All things considered, this year has been rather terrible. As far as the students are concerned, next month is the last one of the school year. Next month, we will hold the graduation ceremony. Though it'll be an understandable this month, we act. 
It will be subdued if I... What? It really will. To be honest, I cannot keep up with all that's been happening recently. Monica was actually Kranya. Tomas was actually Solon. What about you, Professor? You were a true ally, yes? Not the most convincing answer you could have... I mean, she wouldn't know, would she? The whole point of this character is uh, a lot of her past is unknown, so she doesn't know a lot of who she is anyway. The Holy Two. I've worked here for years, and this is the first I've heard of it. No, it's not. I mean, it does make some sense. Sort of. Something about it is still weird. I understand now why they'd build the monastery when the monastery. But look. Teach me fly. Who's this, Dorothea? Hello. Recently, Professor, I feel as though you've been a bit distant. It's like you're sort of floating above the clouds, separate. How can I help? Hey, don't worry. I thought maybe I'd ask and see what you'd say. Yeah, this will be a little. Qu uh, well, I mean, it won't even be a quicker hey, you. Uh, episode anyway. It's still at 51 minutes now. Are you positive? Really? You're unfortunately, I have found no record of Nemesis's hair and eye color. Yeah, because he was not blessed by the goddess at all. Was brought on in part by the power of the crest. That would be most. Well, still, it would be what? A full. F oh, yes. Hi, fine. Uh, Professor, I am so happy. Your new hair and eye color suit you well. But recently, she wants to do something whenever it has concluded. Hey, don't think it's suspicious that Flane, Seth, and Raya all look almost exactly the same. Captain. Oh. Professor, I was just haven't made much clearing out this. You should not be clearing out his things. That is something I should be doing. There's not Seth and Ray to talk to. Excuse me. You have further. I am proud, so very proud of who you have become. <laughs> it's sort of like you're treating her like a daughter, but. Yeah. I wouldn't. I, I kind of see it that way, and I also don't see it that way. But I have hindsight of future events that first time viewers may not have. But if you've played, if you've gone through the entire story with me, which is like 180 e episodes, you, you know exactly where what's going to happen. Right, so let's see. So I'm just going to end this episode here. A little early, but that's fine. And the next uh, episode will be the potential... I think it's the one just before the time skip. So that's something to look forward to, because after that, it's all brand new for me.